Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a fox bookmark. This is a very simple, a very easy, and a very quick project to make, which makes it great for a last minute gift or a gift in which you don't really know what to give somebody. Because it's a fox, unlike a dog or a cat, where people either love it or hate it, a fox is generally neutral. So if you don't know what to give somebody, you can show the effort, even though you don't really know if they'll like a fox or not. But for the most part, you can probably guess that they will be okay with having a fox as an animal for their bookmark. So this is very simple. It's a very easy project, okay? And you can probably pump out a few of these within a day. You can definitely make this within a day, okay? If you are new at crochet, that's okay because I'm going to show you step by step on how to do this project and create it from start to finish. So the way I've done this bookmark is that I've crocheted the head of the fox. I've attached it to my custom body, okay, which is simply paper laminated with a picture on it and then I've attached a tail to it. And the reason I used a paper body rather than the yarn body is because yarn, unless it's a very small thin yarn, it tends to be quite thick with the pages, within the pages of a book, right? It will be bulky. And personally, my personal preference is that I would rather have it as thin as possible and so I used paper for the body of my bookmark and I crocheted the head and I crocheted the tail. So this is what it looks like inside the book. Okay, so you have that fox's head popping out and it's great for anybody who does a little bit of reading. You can do it for students. If you have family members who are still in school, they have textbooks or novels they have to read, it's a good project for them. Again, if you don't know what to give them or if you need a last minute gift in which you're not sure what to give, that shows a little bit of effort. This is a great project to make because it's so quick, it's so simple, and all you need to do is follow the instructions. And of course the tail does pop out at the end of the book if you make the bookmark long enough to fit a, a standard sized book. So for this project you will need a crochet hook and some yarn. You're going to need yarn in an orange color. I am using Peyton's Grace yarn. You can find it easily at Michael's or online. And with that, I'm using a size 2.75 millimeter steel crochet hook. You're also going to need white yarn. And you're also going to need a little bit of black yarn for the nose. And possibly the eyes if you are not using safety eyes that you can find at craft stores. Okay, I like to use the yarn for my eyes. You're also going to need stuffing and a tapestry needle. So to begin this project, we're going to start with the head. Then we're going to work on to the body. So for the body, you're just going to be needing your paper. You're going to be needing tape. I do not have a laminating machine, so I show you in a video, I have the link in the description, on how to laminate paper with tape and tips I use for this. Okay, it's very simple. Just get paper, a picture on the paper, cut it to size, and apply packing tape to it. That's all I do. It makes it durable and it makes... And then we're going to work on the tail at the end. Okay, so for this tutorial, the only thing you're going to have to know is how to do a single crochet. Even with that, I do explain how to do that. Everything else, I will explain how to do, okay? But for this tutorial, there is no major complications. We're going to use single crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, increase, decrease, working on the rounds and working in rows. Again, I'm going to show you all how to do that step by step. So once again, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and share this with your friends if you think that they may benefit from having this idea for themselves. So let's get started. So to begin, we are going to start with the snout. So with the snout, you're going to use your orange yarn, and we're going to work in rows. We're going to start by making a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, you're going to take your yarn, and you're going to make a triangle like this, okay? Then you're going to twist to form an X. You're going to have your two a thumb and your finger, insert it into this circle part here from the bottom up, like me. Then you're going to grab the top side of the yarn. We've got top and bottom, we're going to grab the top and pull it through. And that's going to create our slip knot. You're going to insert your hook and you're going to pull the short end so it's tight against your hook. Okay, now you're going to start with a chain two. 
So for row one, chain two, one. And once again, to do a chain yarn over, pull through. Two. That's two chains. So now for row two, you're going to start in the second stitch from the hook. Right? So this one, the the, this one right here is our first stitch from our hook. The second stitch from our hook is the first chain that we did. Okay, so you always, when you count the stitches from the hook, you count backwards. So we're going to insert our hook into the second stitch from the hook. And then it says to increase. So an increase is just two single crochets in the same stitch. So to do a single crochet, we're going to yarn over and pull a loop through. We have two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one. And then we're going to insert a hook into the same stitch, which is that second stitch from the hook that we just did. So insert our hook into that again. Yarn over, pull, pull a loop through. We have two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two. Like that. So that's an increase. Okay. And now we will chain one, yarn over, pull through, and we will turn. Right, so we turn our work over like this. So now we are ready for round three, for row three. For row three, we're going to single crochet one, do an increase into the next stitch, chain one, and turn. So, as you can see here, we have... So this chain one does not count as a stitch, okay? When we do the chain ones, all it does is give us extra room to maneuver in our next row, right? So this chain one, even though we see it here, is not a stitch. The stitch that we have are these two single crochets that we had before, okay, that we worked on. So that's what we're gonna work into. So this, so this chain one, we are going to not work into that. So what we're gonna do is single crochet into this one here, this single crochet that we did from the previous row. So you're gonna insert your hook into there, okay? And do a single crochet into that. And then you're going to increase in this next stitch. So the next stitch here is our final stitch right here of the row. Insert your hook into there and do an increase. So that's two single crochets in that stitch. One and two, okay? Then we're going to, so now we should have three stitches. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. And then we're going to chain one. Yarn over, pull through. And turn our work again. So now we are on row four. For row four, we're going to begin with two single crochets. So once again, this chain one that we did in the previous row, we are not going to use. We are going to ignore it. All it does is give us extra flexibility to work our row. So for row four, we will single crochet two, right? So we have, once again, three stitches here. One, two, three. In the first stitch, we will single crochet. In the second stitch, we will single crochet. And in the final stitch, we will do an increase. Okay, so first stitch, single crochet. Second stitch, single crochet. Third stitch, increase. So that's two single crochets in that same stitch. So now we have a total of four stitches, one, two, three, four, okay? Then what we are going to do, chain one and turn again. So now we're on row five, which is our final row. What we're going to do is single crochet three, right? So once again, ignore the chain one. We're going to work in our first of our four stitches from the previous row. The first one, we're going to do a single crochet. The second one, we're going to do a single crochet. And the third one, we're going to do a single crochet. And then the final one, we're going to do an increase. So once again, two single crochets in our fourth and final stitch, like that. And then, there we have it. There is our snout, okay? So all we're going to do is fasten off, cut it, like this. Leave a bit of a tail because we're going to sew it in afterwards. We have to attach it to our to our fox after all. And we're going to take this loop here and pull the loop and that's going to fasten it off. So there we have it. Our snout. So here we are for our second part. For our second part we will work the head. 
So to create the head, we are going to work in rounds, okay? The snout, we worked in rows, which is left, right, left, right. In rounds, we are working in a circle, okay? For the head, we're going to begin with our orange yarn, okay? We are going to first create a magic ring. So to do that, you take your yarn, take your two fingers, wrap it around this way, okay? So up, down, up, down. So you have two rows here. Then you're going to take your hook, insert it underneath the first row, and hook it onto the second row like this, and over onto the second row, and pull the second row through. Let me show you again. Up, down, up, down, two rows. Underneath the first row, over the second row, hook it, and pull through. Then just You'll see this. Now hold this all tight together and take your fingers out. Now you have all these twisties here, so what you're going to do is hold it, bring it tighter together, and hold it like this. So we're going to crochet in this circle here. So first, we're going to start with a chain. So yarn over and pull it through, right? So it looks kind of like this right now. Okay, once again, that's why you want to hold it. Yarn over, pull through. That's just going to fasten it off. Okay, now, do not let go or else it's going to unravel itself. Keep hold of it. Single crochet, do six single crochet into this circle. Okay, so once again, and your hook from the bottom of the circle up into the circle, pull a loop through. We have two loops on hook. Yarn over, pull through two, that's one. Okay, once again, insert your hook into the circle, wrap the yarn around, pull a loop through. Yarn over, pull through two, that's two stitches. Three. Six. Okay, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. What you're going to do, take the tail, pull the tail to tighten it. Don't tighten it too tight yet because we still have to work it. If you tighten it too tight, it will make it more difficult for you to work. We'll tighten it later on. Okay, so for the second row, we're going to do increases in each of the six stitches to make a total of 12 stitches. So remember, an increase is two stitches in one stitch. So we're going to do two single crochets in each of these single crochets, which will total us to a total of 12 single crochets. Okay, so let's just count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is our sixth stitch. That's where we want to start. So let's begin. Insert your hook into the first stitch. Yarn over. Do a single crochet, so that's one. And insert it again, and two single crochets. So that's one. Work the second one. So we have two single crochets. Insert your hook into the second stitch. Single crochet. Once again, two in that single, and two, and two into that second stitch. So we have four single crochets so far. And keep going all the way to the end of the round until you have a total of 12. So four. Seven, eight. We have eight stitches now. So if you lose count, here's how to count it again. One, this first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve, like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's 12 stitches. So now we're going to change to white. So to begin round three, we're going to change our color to white. So take your white yarn and apply it over your piece like this. Okay, here's our next stitch. You're going to insert your hook with the yarn underneath, with the white yarn underneath, into the next stitch, and we're going to do a single crochet. So 
we're going to work both the orange and the white at the same time. So it can get quite fidgety, but this way it'll give you a smooth transition. Okay, so yarn over with the orange and pull the or an orange loop through. You have two orange loops on your hook, like this. Yarn over with the white and pull through two. Okay, so that's so we just created one stitch. We we finished our orange off, and we have transition now to white. So that was our single crochet. Now we will do an increase into the second stitch right here. Insert your hook into the second stitch. Take the orange, yarn over, pull an orange through, and we're going to twist. So take your white yarn and make sure it's underneath the orange yarn at the back. Like this, underneath the orange yarn. Pull it, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and we're going to do, an, because it's an increase, we're going to do the same thing and do the same stitch. So take your orange, so insert your hook into the same stitch, like that. Yarn over with the orange, pull an orange through. Okay, then you're going to take your white, make sure your white is underneath the orange. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, like that. And just make sure your stitches are tight. Well, not too tight. Okay, so we did an increase. Now, we're going to, in the next stitch, single crochet. So insert your hook into that stitch. Take your orange yarn, make sure it's underneath the white. Yarn over, pull an orange through. Then you're going to take your white twist it so you make sure that the white is underneath the orange. Yarn over, pull through two. That's a single crochet. Then in the next stitch, insert your hook. We're going to do an increase into this stitch. So once again, two, st two single crochets in this same stitch. So we're going to take our orange, make sure it's underneath the white. Yarn over, pull through. Then you're going to take the white, make sure it's underneath the orange, okay, like this. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Insert your hook into the same stitch. Okay. Take your orange, yarn over, pull through, and reverse. Make sure the white now is underneath the orange, yarn over, and pull through two like this. Then the next stitch, we're going to insert a hook. We're going to do a single crochet. Okay, so the orange is underneath the white. Yarn over, pull loop through. Now, finish it off with the white underneath the orange. Yarn over, pull through two. And then finally, we're going to do in the next stitch an increase. So again, begin with the orange. Make sure it's underneath the white. Yarn over, pull a loop through. Take your white, make sure it's underneath the orange. Yarn over, pull through two. And one more into that same stitch because it's an increase. Begin with your orange. Yarn over, pull through, and then finish off with the white. Yarn over, pull through two. And so there we have it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight white stitches and one orange in this round so far. Before we continue, your piece will probably be tangled. All you're going to have to do is just untangle it. Take your two balls of yarn and just untangle it.